sorry I didn't mean to wake you. Where have you been? I just gave Barbara Jean her bottle. Oh. She's kind of cranky. I think she's teething. Oh. Is Tony up yet? Mm -hmm. He's up and he's gone. This early? Mm -hmm. Maybe you got a call to go to the hospital during the night. No, I don't think so. I would have heard the phone. I've been up and down all night long. <coughs> He's just gone, huh? Yeah. Are you worried that he hasn't settled into any type of routine yet? I think it might be just a little too soon for that. You know, he hasn't even slept in his and Tanya's bed since she died. Where does he sleep? I don't know if he sleeps at all. I've been up and down the stairs this morning, and it's still early. Tony was in the process of getting a, a cleaning lady, and in the meantime... You're it. I'm it. Thank God for your money. Listen, honey, if there's anything you need me to do, I'll, I'll help you out. Don't you have to go to the station? Well, yeah, but not for a little while. I'm still waiting on some reports on the hit-and-run case. There's got to be a garage. That's a check-in yet, a couple body shops. Well, could you go to the grocery store for me this morning? Sure. I've got a, a little list here of things we need. A little list? Well, you could eat for a month on this. It's not just food. You don't really know what goes into keeping a house up, do you? You have to buy things like detergent and wax polish, you know, silver polish and wood polish and paper towels. Detergent. Do I have to go on? I can read. Would you get that phone sale start early? And if it's the Firemen's Benevolent Association, tell them we gave. Hello. Frisco, it's Sam. What's up? We've got a solid lead on the hit and run car. Great. What have you got? A garage just reported replacing a headlight on the type of car we're looking for. And it's very suspicious. The owner paid cash and didn't want to file an insurance claim. Terrific. This is the lead I've been waiting for. I'll be right down. Sweetheart, I gotta go. I got a lead on the hit and run. But what about the shopping? Everything that he's just 
just, everything just comes at unexpected moments, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you want to talk about? Actually, I'd like to have Tony in on this, too. Is he here? I think he's in the hospital. No. Today's his day off. Oh, well, I don't know where he is. First one, I've been really worried about him. Yeah, I have, too. Tanya died so suddenly, you didn't have any chance to get mentally prepared for it at all. Anyway, come on, sit down, sit down. I want to tell you all about the idea that I had for Tanya's daycare center. How do you feel about making it a memorial for Tanya? Bobby, that's a brilliant idea. Well, I think Tanya had terrific insight into a working mother's needs. Well, I think I'm acquiring one, one rapidly. <laughs> I don't know how Tanya ever did. <laughs> Look, I have to go to work, but when I get off duty, I'll call you. And if you need help, you just yell, okay? Okay, thanks. This is the broken headlight that was replaced. 1976 European model compact. That fits. Yeah, and here's the bill of sale. Mm -hmm. It shows that the car was brought in the day after Tanya was killed. It's close, isn't it? Very few gaps. Is the owner of the car here? Right outside. Bring him in, will you please? Uh, it's a woman, Wilma Dunn. A woman? All of the eyewitnesses said it was a man from 18 to 30. One of the witnesses even said it was a middle-aged man. But they all said it was a man. Um, uh, it could be that someone borrowed a car. Could be. Wilma Dunn? Yes. Have a seat, please. I don't know why I'm here. You're here for questioning on a hit-and-run charge. What? You may have read about it in the papers. The young woman that was hit and died? Yes. I never did such a terrible thing. Never. I'd like to ask you some questions. I don't know what you're asking me for. <clears throat> March 17th. Where was your car on that day? Give me a minute to think. Uh, it's hard to remember dates, what I did on a certain day. It was St. Patrick's Day, if that helps. Oh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. That helps. Uh, as far as I remember, I was home that day, uh, except for some errands. I went to the grocery store and the drugstore, and... Yes, that's all I did that day. I remember the story about the young woman that was hit. I wasn't in that part of Port Charles at all. Just a minute, please. Yeah. You notice something? My what? Her hair, how short it's cut. Yeah. Yes? It's very easily mistaken as a man, possibly. Especially at that time of day. Yes, it was pretty dark. And you know, she's very nervous. She could very easily be covering for someone, too. We have to remember that. She's married. <clears throat> May I go now? No. We have a lot more questions to ask you. Mrs. Dunn, did your husband use the car on the day Tanya Jones was struck? No, no. Did anyone else use it? No, I told you, I had the car all day. I just ran a few errands. So you had the car? Yes. And I read the stories in the newspaper about the hit and run. Most of the witness said it was a man driving a car. The car that hit Mrs. Jones. Up until now, it's been a man that we've been looking for. That lets me off the hook. Not really. Could have been a woman with short hair. No, you're wrong. How did the headlight on your car get broken? I don't know. Somebody must have just backed into me when I was shopping at the market, and I didn't notice it. Mrs. Dunn, why did you take such a point in not filling out an insurance claim when the headlight was broken? Why? I just didn't, that's all. Sam? Yeah? Booker on suspicion of hit-and-run manslaughter. Listen, I know we don't have enough to go on to completely book her, but I want to shake her up a little bit. I think she's hiding something very important. I know she is. Uh, yeah, let me, I'll book her right away. Mrs. Dunn, let's go.
Wait. I'll tell you the truth. I was terrified this was going to happen. I'm still terrified. How you are feeling is nothing compared to the way the people are feeling that knew and loved Tanya Jones. Look, I was driving the car when the headlight was broken. And, but I swear, I was nowhere near that hit and run. That's not enough, Mrs. Dunn. When I read in the newspapers, I, I nearly died. There was a vague description it's of the car. It's not vague any longer, Mrs. Dunn. Get her out of here, Sam. All right, let's go. Wait, you don't understand. I didn't want my husband to know anything about it. About you and the hit-and-run accident? You see, this is the fourth time I have smashed the car in six months. My husband is an insurance man. Don't you see? No, not yet. A little while ago, you said you had a little accident at the market. I just told you that because I didn't know how close you were to arresting me. It's still close. I couldn't file a claim. He would find out. How did you smash the headlight, Mrs. Dunn? And this is one better stick. I bumped another woman's car. Where? In the market. Is her car damaged? Just a dent. And I told her to go get it fixed. Then call me and I would come to her house with the cash. I saved a little on my household money, so I had cash on hand. Where is this <clears throat> friendly woman of yours? Do you have a name? Yeah. You better. Oh, I'm so glad you feel so much better. I know those teeth been hurting you so much. Yeah. There's really nothing we can do about it, you know. We'll just wait until the bottle's done, and then we'll feed you, and then you can take a little nap, and then we'll both be happy. Oh. Okay. Is that the telephone? the telephone. Hello? Hi, Felicia. It's Amy. How's it going? Oh, uh, Barbara Jean's been doing a lot of crying. I think she's teething now. Isn't it a shame that teeth hurt as much coming in as they do going out? Yeah, I've really got my hands full here. Oh, well, I just called to say that I'm not going to be coming straight home tonight. I'm going to stop off at this place where the new residents are hanging out. Okay, so you won't be home. Yeah. Oh. Has she been crying all day? A lot of the day and a lot of the night. Mm, well, I've had a really tough day here, too. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is, but everybody has been touchy all day long. I, I'm in the process of heating a bottle. I'll tell you something. Bobby busted me royally here at work today, and I don't even know why. I mean, I really didn't even deserve it. She was completely out of line, at least in my opinion. She didn't think so. But I'll tell you, she's got a really bad temper, and I oh, wish she would learn how to... Felicia? Felicia. Inconsiderate. Don't make any noise. I just got the baby to sleep. Well, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Tell me about your hit and run suspect. I've been dying to hear about it. Oh, well, it's about 20 minutes. Thought I have everything all laid out, but no. Perfect alibi comes up, and basically I have zilch. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought I had it, Felicia. So did Sam. But no. That just curls my stomach to think that that driver's still out there somewhere, possibly driving too. I know. But sooner or later, you're going to find out who that hit and run killer is, and you're going to find that car. Well, hopefully sooner. I don't want to deal with it later. Stuff's rotten, I think. Well, I haven't even done breakfast dishes yet. What have you been doing all day? I think we should table this topic of discussion. How's Barbara Jean? She's sleeping. Yeah, you said that. And she every was... chance I can be away from her teething, it's golden. What are you talking about? I'm just going practicing to be a saint, so please don't ask me any more questions. I need to get this kitchen squared away. No. Tastes like chocolate pudding? Yes, it's chocolate pudding. Oh, burned. Yes, it? it's burned. Tony home yet? 
Not yet. Did you talk to him? Mm -hmm. well, should be home soon. I can't imagine him calling. Well, he may not be at the hospital. Bobby said he had the day off today. Well, that wouldn't stop him. I mean, he may want to throw himself into his work, you know. Would you hand me those paper towels, please? Yeah. What are you doing? I just wondered if you started dinner yet. No, not yet. You know, it may be a good idea to have a warm meal ready for him when he gets home. How many hands do you see? What do you mean? Two, right? Yeah, two. I can only do so much and no more. Instead of you just standing there and... and carping. What the hell does carping you mean? You scraping carrots. I hate carrots, Felicia. You don't have to make them for yourself. You can make them for us because Tony and I like carrots. I have never scraped a carrot in my life and I don't intend to start, okay? Or you can just clean the lettuce for the salad. What the hell is the matter with you anyway? You don't seem to care how my day went today, do you? You don't seem to care at all. Well, you don't seem to care how my day went. It wasn't too super either, you know. Keep your voice down. I mean, you're at home. See, I'm at work. There's a difference. Oh, am I sleeping? You know what I mean. <laughs> you little baby. How do you know you didn't wake her? Forget! about blowing up at you. I was very inconsiderate. I'm sorry. How would you know what it was like? I didn't explain anything. I just got angry. I guess our days were different. But they were both equally bad in a way. up, I'll go to her. And Tony's got her now. He's rocking her to sleep again. How is he? Could you tell? I didn't want to ask him. I don't think he wanted to talk. I didn't even ask him where he was today. Do you think I should go sit with him? Not. I think he just wants to be alone right now. He knows we're here. Yeah. So, um... Are we... Uh, I mean... Are we made up? You know, my grandmother always said... The secret was to a long and happy marriage. What? Never go to bed angry. Well, we'll never do that, will we? No, never. We always have to remember how lucky we are to have each other. And love each other.
open your arms, I'm ready for anything. So am I. Just sleep.